This is a tutorial for the crazy 3x3x3 Saturn. And this puzzle has two sides that move separately from the center. And they are directly opposite of each other. In this one, it's a blue and green. All of them, all the rest are normal. Okay, so the first thing you want to do for this puzzle is to get a cross, the full cross, for one of the sides that is not a blue or green. So choose from your white, orange, yellow, or red, any of them. I'll start with red. So I'm just going to get the these pieces solved. And knowing that the green moves separately, I want to have a separate inner green edge piece right over here, like this one, and then I can put it up. And now I need a yellow one. There's no yellow one on this band right now. So I'm going to take one from the yellow or white side that move with the inner pieces. And I'm going to put that up here. And then put it up. Same with this one, I need a blue. Here's a blue. And the last one. First I have to match this outer red piece with this inner red piece. So take it out of the way on the green or blue side. Move this one back and match it up. Now this one goes with white, like it's the one that's right here. So now I've completed my cross for one of the sides. Next thing I want to do is to get all these edge pieces for the second layer, the inner and outer edge pieces. For this one, the first thing I want to do is to get all of the inner edge green and blue pieces. So here's a blue piece. Just going to take this piece, move it up to the orange, and swap it. Same with the green. So now I'm done with the green and the blue. So what I want to do is to find an outer edge piece that has to go down into any of these slots. Here's a white and blue. And first see which color is which inner edge piece is not there. That will be the blue and the white of the blue and white. So what I want to do is to match up this outer edge white and blue piece with an in inner edge white piece on the right spot. So this one can just come right here. For that one I'll bring it over to the blue side, take it out of the way using a side that's not solved, move the white piece over and match it up. Now from here what I'm going to do is to match up the side that's showing on the that's showing down from the outer edge piece. In this case, it's a white piece right here. That's going to match with the center. And first, you have to see which direction it goes into here. This one goes down this way. So I'm just going to ha start with this as L. It's going to be L, F inverted, L inverted, F to put that piece in. Now, I just do the same for all the other ones. In this case, the next one is a green and yellow. That one comes down to here. I need to match it up with the yellow piece first. To do that, I'm going to have to flip this piece around. So I'll put it over here. And what I can do from here is I'll have this as F, this as R. I'll do R inverted because this piece is not solved, of course. R inverted, F, R, F inverted. And you don't really have to memorize this as an algorithm, because it's a fairly simple move. And now I want to match this piece, this yellow, with this yellow. So take this out of the way, move the yellow inner edge piece here, and match it up again. Now again, see which piece is on the bottom, this one's yellow again. So I'm going to match it with the center. This one goes down here, this way, so the same as before. L, F inverted, L inverted, F. 
That piece is solved. Now this piece does go in here, except it's flipped in wrong. So I'm just going to take that one out quickly. And I want to match this with the white piece, because that's the piece that's missing. So first find a white piece that's along this band. In this case there are none. So I'm looking over he looking over here and I see a white piece that I can use. So from here I'm going to start with this one on top of the green or the blue. From here I'm going to do R inverted F R F inverted to flip around that white piece. And this one already came out with it, which is not what I want, so I'm going to move this out of the way first. And just take this one out. And this one flipped over again, but I want the white to be on the bottom so I can match it up with this white. So I'm going to do the same as before. And that should flip it around. And now I'm going to match this white piece with this white piece. Take it out of the way and replace it. Oh, and for this one, you actually have to use the green or the blue piece, blue sides, because they move separately. So like that. Now here, the whites match. And this time, it goes in this way. So, so I'm going to have this as R. This as F. R inverted. F. R. F inverted. And that gets that piece solved. Now there's only this one left. So that will be right here. Now to match this up with a yellow. So I have to put this yellow piece and flip it around. I'll start here. I'm going to put this above the blue piece. I'm going to do R inverted F R F inverted. And now match up this yellow with this yellow. And now I'm going to put this one down here just like before, same exact th thing. R inverted, F, R, F inverted. And that solves the second layer of edge pieces. Next, I have to get these. And to do that, I'm going to do the same algorithm you use for a normal 3x3x3. And for this one, I want to make sure that orange always is on top, and either the white or the yellow, which are fixed, are on the front. And the way this one works, because these two are moving separately, I want to, the piece that's down here will get flipped around, but the piece that's up here will not. So from here, if I do the move, then this piece will move up here. And the algorithm is F, R, U, R inverted, F, U inverted, and F inverted. So just like that, it gets it there. And next, this is a really helpful scenario right now, because I want one piece with one outer edge piece that's flipped around wrong, like this, but with an inner edge orange piece. And I also want another one just like that, except without the inner edge orange piece. And the one that was with the orange edge piece, I want to have the other inner orange edge piece to be below it, so I can flip that one around. And I want the other one that's messed up to be directly across from it. So I'm just going to put this over here. R, U, R inverted, U, R, 2U, R inverted. And from here, the same move one more time, and the whole cross should be finished. So F, R, U, R inverted, U inverted, F inverted. Now all that's left to do is to solve these. Now in this case, the first thing I want to do is to have these two directly opposite of each other, without messing up the outer and inner edge pieces. So instead of using the green or blue sides like before, I'm going to use orange, which is fixed, and yellow, which is fixed. 
So R U R inverted U R two U R inverted. Now they're directly opposite of each other. Now first you have to see which ones have which colors. So there's green and white, and green is a fixed is a non-fixed side and white is. So for this particular case, I'm going to use white. I'm going to move any of the white edge pieces up here, and from here. This one comes over here, this one comes over here, and this one comes over here. So looking from here, I'm going to do R, U, R inverted, U, R, 2U, and R inverted. Now that solves it, and I'm just going to put this one back over here, and put this back as it was. And I've solved all of the outer edge pieces as well as the inner edge pieces.